definitely. Um, when you're doing your maths, data interpretation and logical reasoning, you will find a lot of formula. Uh, you will find one type of questions repeating. Uh, for students like us, uh, who are not very good with maths, I would create step-by-step -step how to solve this question. So percentage increase, percentage decrease, how to solve. So I would write in English, step one, take out this, 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 this will be the numerator, this will be the denominator. I have done that. And I would write all of it and again, stick it on a wall. So you know, I wake up in the morning before I can sit and study, I'm having my coffee and that's right before, you know, before me, in front of me. So those, those formula I can keep seeing. Same goes for logical reasoning also. You'll find squares of opposition. Uh, so th there are again some formula, right? Uh, all, some, not all, all of those things. If that's on your wall day and night, even when you're not studying and you're on a break, it's still right in front of you. And sometimes that mental image of that thing being on your wall, it stays with you. And when you're giving the exam and you have to apply that formula, that mental image of that thing being on your wall comes in and you're able to see, yeah, this was my formula. This was the numerator. This was the denominator. This is how I have to solve it. So that really, really works. You can all try that. Um, plus, more importantly, while still on paper one, I would quickly also want to mention that now you have a computer-based exam. So this will be an online exam, right? Which gives you another great, great, great benefit which is that paper one and paper two are together three hours, right? Deepika ma'am has also given this paper at a time when paper one was for one hour only, I think ma'am, and they would take away the paper once that one hour is over, right? And believe me, you need more time for paper one than paper two, because paper one uh, will require some calculations also from your part, especially uh, those students who feel that maths is their weak point, right? So now that paper one and paper two is combined three hours, you can give more time to paper one without feeling any pressure. So you can give good enough time to DI and uh, maths also. And why I'm focusing on this is because despite being one of those students who did not do well in maths ever, I did score five on five in my UGC net exam and the answer key was out. I couldn't believe myself all the answers I had gotten right completely. And I'll tell you why the concepts were, number one, they repeated. Past year question papers a very similar pattern repeat. The concepts repeat. See, the question will never be the same, but the concept will repeat. Percentage increase, percentage decrease, mostly average, ratio, okay? profit and loss, uh, you find uh, not very often, but percentage increase, percentage decrease, you will find maximum questions being based on that. So if that concept was clear, then that is simply an application of that, right? Something that you were preparing for for a long time. And just five questions you have to get right. And that makes a what? 10 marks. So 10 marks is done for a, a unit which you otherwise felt is not my strength. Whereas otherwise, like ma'am mentioned, teaching aptitude, communication, which we feel it's easy because it's clearly and we, we studied it. Sometimes they ask questions which are so subjective, right? Uh, like ma'am is saying, ki, you think this should be the answer, but UGC net thinks no. Actually, something else should be the answer. And those are common sense based questions, not very difficult, but very confusing. Um, how to approach them? Ma'am has already given you the key. Solve as many past year question papers as you can, right? So before you start one question paper, you solve just to get an idea of what you are in for what is actually going to happen with you for the following months that you're going to prepare for UGC net. Then once you have taken up some units and you've covered some parts, start solving past year question papers. Very, very important. For the practice-based units, digital learning is the key. Go to YouTube. I'm, uh, I'm, I think Soheb has also already mentioned that there's a Loctopus playlist also. Watch as many videos as possible with instructors telling you how to solve these questions. And you can do it along with them. Okay, so get your big register out and solve questions saath saath mein. Very helpful. There is no way that you will be, you know, you are unstoppable if you do this. Definitely. Right? Um, having covered that, uh, I would say that let's quickly also look at some important points from every unit for paper one. Right? Ma'am, we can move on to the next slide. So we'll just quickly look at some important points which are like 
the UGC net favorites. You know, you will you will see these questions coming up very very often. Uh, why I'm discussing this with you is because. when you do past year question papers also you should be making such a table for your own self i have also done this for every unit i would you know take a study of the past year question papers and i will see which concepts are repeating so that i know that one night two nights three nights before the exam i can't possibly revise the entire syllabus for ugc net it is not possible only paper 1 paper 2 imagine revising the whole whole of your llb llm along with some other courses also uh, in paper 1 you are revising for ugc net it's not possible these key areas if you have identified by taking an analysis of the previous year question papers then you know these are the areas i will be revising one night before the exam because they happen to be repetitive right so talking about teaching um, aptitude bloom's taxonomy the levels of teaching very favorite question of ugc net repeats very often mooc and swayam learners characteristics and learning environment this is the part where you have to in fact be careful look at deepika ma'am smiling there's a reason why she's smiling you think that this is easy the learners characteristics and learning environment learning environment acha hona chahiye you should feel relaxed things like that common things but the questions are asked in such a twisted manner you wouldn't be able to know which is the right answer so and these are very favorites you ugc favorites they always ask this so study the pattern of the previous year question papers to get an insight of how to approach this to get into the mind of ugc what do they want the answer to be definitely right research aptitude methods of research referencing style citation styles common questions that are repetitive communication barriers to communication very common um, classroom communication very important especially because of course uh, keep in mind be mindful of the fact that this exam is for uh becoming assistant professors right so classroom communication is a very favorite question um moving on to the other units we have uh, if you could move to the next slide ma'am right for comprehension big 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 tip see if it works out for you i always felt that reading the questions before actually reading the passage works each time so you save a lot of time also first and foremost read the questions then you go to reading the passage then you already know what you're looking for otherwise if you start reading the passage ugc net gives you long passages long and boring right so you somewhere get lost in between and then you read the question and you try to find the answer in those lines paragraph kahan tha itni lambe mein you are looking for it instead read your questions first now you already know what you're looking for then you go to the passage you start reading it while reading you immediately know oh this was asked somewhere this is the first answer then next you will keep coming on to your answers automatically for this of course practice is the key this you can practice even using kvs madan or simply just referring to past year question papers would also cover this unit for you entirely mathematical reasoning logical reasoning data interpretation like i've already mentioned uh write all your formula place it on a conspicuous place where you can see it all the time right very very helpful believe me try it also digital learning is the key right so um that's from my end for paper 1 all the insights that i uh, i could summarize everything that i did to um uh, try and crack this exam in my very first go it it is daunting to begin with especially when you've um, heard of uh very exceptional people uh, not qualifying ugc net and you thinking that what is it what is with this exam that it is so difficult to crack it uh, even the uh, cut off is like 60% doesn't seem like it's very it's a very daunting or difficult task to achieve but i think uh, what gives you the edge is trying to understand the psyche look at the past year question papers understand the pattern and then prepare such a table for yourself such a target for yourself that what are those things which are the top ugc favorites focus on that and uh, use these tips and tricks to of course uh, find a place for yourself and i'm sure you'll definitely be able to do that then